Absolutely. Let's see it. Why don't you just have a seat, Brendan? Tom and I just got to stop out for a minute, and then we'll be right in, okay? Okay. All right.
Alright. How you doing, buddy? Good. Brendan, Brendan. Here you go. I'm just going to shut this audio off, okay, because there's audio in the room here, just so yeah. you know. Okay. Um, I just wanted to just go over this real quick again. You remember these rights, your Miranda rights that I read yeah. you? Um, you still want to talk to us? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure of that. Brendan, I want you to, to relax, okay? Um, a little more comfortable here and stuff. And what we like to be, you had a couple days since we last talked now, which was Monday, and you had a chance to reflect and breathe I imagine just and we um and uh I kind of call it it's a sense to briefing in a way you know just let you talk to us a little and um and and we've had also a chance for two days now to look at what you said and, and listen to the to tapes a little and stuff like that and, you know, we look at that and we say, well, you know, Brendan gave us, honestly gave us this information, this information, that information, maybe I'll call them dots or whatever. And some of the dots, when we look at it, say, well, I think we need some matching up here, just a little tightening up or something. We, we feel that, that maybe, I think Mark and I both feel that maybe there's some, some more that you could tell us. Um, that you may have held back for whatever reasons, and I don't want to assure you that Mark and I are both are in your corner, we're on your side, and you did tell us yourself that one of the reasons you hadn't come forward yet was because you were afraid, you were scared, and, and one of the reasons you were scared was that you would be implicated in this, or people would say that you helped or did this, mm -hmm. okay, and that you might get arrested and stuff like that, okay, and we understand that. One of the best ways to, to, to prove to us, or more importantly, you know, the courts and stuff, is that you tell the whole truth. Don't leave anything out. Don't make anything up because you're trying to cover something up a little. Um, and even if those statements are against your own interest, you know what I mean? That that makes you might it may, might make you look a little bad, or make you look like you were more involved than you want to be uh, looked at. Um, it's hard to do, but it's good from that vantage point to say, hey, there's no doubt you're telling the truth because you've now given the whole story. You've even given points where it didn't look real good for you either. And I don't know if I, if you, if you understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and and that's why we kind of came here to let you talk a little, maybe get some stuff off your mind or chest if you need to, and then to tell us the whole truth, to take us through this whole thing that happened on Monday, not leaving anything out, not adding anything in, because Mark and I looked at looked at the tapes, looked at the notes. And it's real obvious there's some places where some things were left out or maybe changed just a bit to, to maybe looking at yourself to protect yourself a little. Um, from what I'm seeing, even if I fill those in, I'm thinking you're all right, okay? You don't have to worry about things. Um, we're, we're there for you. Um, and, I, and, and we know what Stephen did, and, and, and we know kind of what happened to you and what he did, we just need to hear the whole story from you. And as soon as we get that and we're comfortable with that, I think you're going to be a lot more comfortable with that. It's going to be a lot easier on you down the road. Uh, if this goes to trial and stuff like that, we need to know that because it's probably going to come out. Think of Stephen for a second. Stephen is already starting to say some things and eventually he's going to potentially lay some crap on you and try and make it look like you are the bad person here. Um, and we don't want that. We want everything out front so we can say, yeah, we knew that, Stephen. He told us that. You, you, know, you get my drift? I'm gonna, I don't know Mark has something, so I'm just going to give you an opportunity to talk to us now and, and, and kind of fill in those gaps for us. Honesty here, Brendan, is the thing that's going to help you. Okay, no matter what you did, we can work through that. Okay, 
We can't make any promises, but we'll stand behind you no matter what you did, okay? Because you're being the good guy here. You're the one that's saying, you know what, maybe I made some mistakes, but here's what I did. The other guy involved in this doesn't want to help himself. All he wants to do is blame everybody else, okay? And by you talking with us, it's helping you, okay? Because the honest person is the one that's going to get a better deal out of everything. You know how that works. Mm -hmm. You know, honesty is the only thing that'll set you free, right? And we know, like Tom said, we know we reviewed those tapes. We know there's some things you left out, and we know there's some things that maybe weren't quite correct that you told us. Okay, we've done, we've been investigating this a long time. We pretty much know everything. That's why we're talking to you again today. We really need you to be honest this time with everything, okay? If in fact you did some things which we believe some things may have happened that you didn't want to tell us about, it's okay. As long as you can, as long as you be honest with us, it's okay. If you lie about it, that's going to be problems, okay? Does that sound fair? Mm -hmm. All right. Should we just go through that whole day again on the 31st, or how do you want to well, do we it? Well, we can do that. I'd give him a chance to just talk to us. And sure. Then. If he wants to go through the whole day, if he wants to fill in the pieces, that's that's up to Brendan right now. What would you rather do? You just want to talk to us and tell us, you know, starting with that day and how you actually came to know what happened and stuff. Because now we know you're in the garage and stuff, apparently cleaning up and stuff. So tell us about that. Well, he was working on his car, and like he did something wrong, and then. Like he poked a hole in like something and then it started leaking. And then later on when, because I was helping him before I went over there a little bit. Yeah, I know. And later on he, me and help, I helped him move the car out of there and cleaned it up. And then I went back home and then then I get, later on I got a call from him and he wanted me to come over. Let's go back a little bit, okay? When did you first go over by Steve? At like 9 o'clock. You said you were over in the garage helping him. Yeah. When was that? Like 6, 6.30. Okay. So let's go back, okay? Let's go back to around that time. You get home off the bus at about 3.45? Yeah. And what do you do? Now you got to be honest here. I walked on the road and I go into my house. Okay. And what did you house. see at that time? That she was talking, or her car was over there. Where was her car? Like, on the other side, of, you know, where you drove by our house, mm -hmm. where you turned there? It was like on the other side of the road there, by the trees. And you just told, you just said something, you said she was talking, and then yeah. you stopped. Now, remember, this is very important, because we already know what happened that day, okay? Let's just be honest here, okay, Brendan? Mm -hmm. Let's get this out. Use your memory, not what Stephen told you, not what anyone else told you. Be honest, because we're gonna, we're gonna be able to tell when you're not being honest. I'm telling you that right now. So you're walking down the road. Let's pick it up again, okay? I seen him talking to her on his porch and that, and I seen her, her Jeep there, and I walked in the house. So she's standing, meaning she is Teresa? Mm-hmm. Did you recognize her? Not at first. You just knew it later on when this all came out? Yeah. So she's standing on his porch. Mm -hmm. Did Blaine see that? I don't think. And you're sure you saw that? You sure it wasn't another time or anything like that? It was Halloween this, year, this yeah. last year. On the front porch of the area. Yeah. Do you remember what she was wearing? I know it's a long time ago. Don't guess. If you remember, you can say it. I don't remember. Do you remember how he was dressed? I think he, uh, white short, uh, white, white shirt with like red shorts or something like that. Okay. 
Okay. Anytime you don't remember, you say that, all right? Yeah, don't make anything up if you don't know it. You don't know it. So then, did what happen? And you saw her and him on the porch, and they were what? They were talking. And then what did you do? I walked in my house. And they were just talking? Were they doing anything else? Were they screaming, fighting, talking, pushing, anything? Just talking. Okay. You went in your house, and this is about quarter to four. Mm -hmm. Then what did you do in your house? Be honest, because we don't have to go through this eight times. I went into my room, and because my mom told me I had to clean my room. I cleaned it a little bit, and I played PlayStation 2 for a little bit. It was about like five o'clock, and my my brother was on the phone with his friend Blaine. Yeah. Okay. And he was talking about going trick or treating with him, and that Jason will pick him up at like seven. And then I ate and I went into the living room and I, like I was eating in the living room and watching TV. And what'd you see? Honest. Red, what? Red. Then what happened? Well then, then he called and said that he wanted help on his his car. Okay. Did he call you or did he come over? He called me. What, on your cell phone or on your on house, the house phone? phone? He calls your house phone. Yeah. And this is about what time now? About 6, 6.30. Okay. And what does he say to you? He says, do you want to help me with the, to fix the car? Because he said that, that if I would help him on his cars, he would like help me find a car. Okay. And so I did, and then that's when he like cut something, and then it was leaking on the floor. Let's stop right there. So you, he calls you and asks you for help to fix the car, mm -hmm. and you go over to his house. Mm -hmm. And where do you go? Into the garage. And what's in the garage? His Monty. His Monty. Where is that Suzuki? on the side. Is the big garage door open? Mm hmm So you walk in there and he said, and this is Halloween. Okay. And what's he doing? He's working on his Monte. What about the fire? Do you mean if it was started or something? No, it wasn't. Okay. We're not going to go any further than this because we need to get the truth out now. We know the fire was going. We know that he had already had his altercation with Teresa. We don't believe there's a Monty in there. I talked to you the other night and you said nothing about a Monty. You said nothing about something getting punctured and leaking out. We talked about cleaning something up in that garage. You told me that you thought, thinking back now that it was blood, it was red in color. Let's, you're at your house, 6, 6.30, I'll go that far with you. It might even been earlier. What's going on? Let's take it through honestly now. Come on, Brandon, be honest. I told you before, that's the only thing that's gonna help you here. We already know what happened, okay? We don't get honesty here. I'm your friend right now, but I, I gotta I gotta believe in you. And if I don't believe in you, I can't go to bat for you. Okay, you're nodding. Tell us what happened. Your mom said you'd be honest with us. And she's behind you 100% no matter what happens yeah, here. That's what she said, because she thinks you know more too. We're in your corner. We already know what happened. Now tell us exactly. Don't lie. We can't say it for you, Brandon, okay? Or that 
that morning he said that if he wanted me to come over like at 6 30 and he had the fire started because he wanted to buy uh, burn some tires mm -hmm. and so he had it started and the jeep was still in there whose jeep the suzuki it was still in where in the garage slamonte's not in there Whose car was in the garage? Tell me the truth. We already know. Just tell us. It's okay. The truth. That's, it's so easy to tell the truth. It's hard to make things up. Her Jeep. That's right. Her Jeep was in the garage, wasn't it? And you, you tell me if I'm wrong. When you were at the house, you just went over here because you had talked about it in the morning, is that correct? Mm -hmm. There was no call from Stephen asking you to come over, was there? And you went over, was the big door closed? Mm -mm. You're sure about that? Yeah. So the big door is open and her truck is in there when you get over there? Yeah. By her truck, who are we talking about? Well, if I wanted to... Come over later. No, whose truck whose was truck? in there? Oh, the, the truck? Yeah. Her Jeep. Who's her? Teresa's. Okay, and that Jeep is a what? Do you remember? Like what color? Color or make? Green, like a greenish blue. Okay. Is it drove in or is it backed into the garage? It's backed in. Now, let's be honest, what did he tell you? What did he what show you? What did you him? see and what did he tell you? He showed me the knife and uh, rope. Where was she? Come on, we know this already. Be honest. In or the back of the Jeep? She was in the back of the Jeep. Was she alive or dead at that time? Dead. Are you sure? Okay. What did you see in the back? No, this is hard, but what did you see in the back of the Jeep? That she was laying there with like a small blanket over her. Do you remember where her head was? Not really. Did she have clothes on? Yeah. She was clothed? Yeah. Was she tied up already? Or did you help him do that? She was tied up already. Where? Tell me how she was tied up. Like the rope was right here around her body. Are you sure? Did Steve have any blood on him at that time? On his finger. What about on his body, on his clothes? Not that I know of. Where did you see blood? Like, like right here. Where else in the garage? On the floor. A lot. Like drips. Where was it dripping from? I don't know. What did he tell you he did to her? That he stabbed her. Let's stop there for a second now, okay? I want to back up just a bit. I didn't mean to interrupt that thing, but what time? Actually, did you get over here now? About. Like quarter to seven. So it's still about that same time, quarter to seven? Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay. Did you really see those two talking on the, on the porch? Yeah. You did? You're 100% on that? Yeah. Okay. How did she get in the back of the Jeep? Tell us that. I don't know. Did you help him? No. Let's be honest here, Brandon. If you helped him, it's okay. Because he was telling you to do it. You didn't do it on your own. I didn't, I didn't touch her. 
So you get over into the garage, and the garage door's open, and her truck's in the garage, right? Yeah. And what does he say to you? Think about it and be honest. That's when he threatened me. That if I would say anything, that he like trusted me or something. Why did he? Ha why did he have you come over there? Did he need help with something? Remember, we already know, but we need to hear it from you. Why did he have you come over there? He needed help, didn't he? What did he need help with? Go ahead and tell us. Probably to get rid of the body. Yeah. So, what Mark's saying is, did he call you or did he come to the door and say, Brendan, I need, what, what did he do? He came over. Tell us what he told or asked you to do. He said, hey, Brendan, you want to help me do something? And, keep going. I said, for what? And he's like, for something to do in my garage. Okay, keep going. And I said, I'm sure. And then later I came over and... What time did he come to your house? I can't remember. Okay, but you, he comes to your house and asks you if you want to do something, help him with something. Mm -hmm. Tell me that again. That he wanted me to come over there and help him move something. Did he tell you what? No. Did you go over right away? No, I waited 10 minutes. Okay, so then you walk over and the garage door is open. Yeah. And what do you see again? Her Jeep. Okay. And you're sure the big garage door is open? You didn't go in the little door? No. So you see her Jeep and then what happens? Does he what? He opens the back door. Okay, and what does he say? And told me to help him. Do, don't do you ask him a question? Who is this or what? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what he said. He said that it's a girl that he was kind of peed off at. Did he say who who it was? Teresa Halbach. Why was he peed off at her? I don't know. I think he probably told you. So just be honest. We already know. He's obviously not holding anything back from you. He had you come over to see this. We already he know. He used you for this. So bring us into the garage again. You mentioned earlier that's when he threatened you. Tell us that. That he threatened me that if I would say anything that he would stabbed me like she, he did to her and that that um he was pissed off at her because of he wanted to get his his blazer and the thing that like the last time she was there and he couldn't He opens the back door of her truck and tell me what you see. Her body laying there. What could you see of her? Truth now. As hard as it is, tell us the truth. Her head, her body, her feet. So she was not covered up? No, I didn't think so. See, we already knew that. Did she have clothes on? To be honest. If she did, she did. If she didn't, she didn't. 
sort of. Okay, what you have on? Like a white t-shirt and that. Pants. What do you mean, sort of? Either she had clothes on or she didn't. It's what, some of it on, some of it off? What? It was like ripped. It was ripped? Where was it ripped? Like right here. Was it a t-shirt or a button-up shirt or what kind of shirt? A button-up one. What color? Like... Like a black one. Okay, before you just said there was a white t-shirt. She had that on too? Mm-hmm. Underneath that shirt? Yeah. And in the other interview, you said it was blue. Do you remember what color it was? If you don't remember, say you don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. <clears throat> so he threatens you, and what does he say to you? That to help him get rid of the body. Okay. Before you mentioned trust, and he said something about trust. Tell us about that. What do you say about that? That he really likes me much, and they trust me that I won't say none. So what happens next? That he told me to grab her feet, so I did, and. So he took her out in the back and put her in the fire pit. Was the fire burning already? Yeah. Tell us, did you carry her out there? Or did you use something to get her back there? Well, we lifted her out of the jeep and put her on like a like a wheel thing. What a wheel thing? What's that? Like the things where you get under your car. A creeper? Yeah. And is that creeper always kept in his garage? Well, he was borrowing it from the yard or something like that. What's that creeper say on it? Do you remember? What color is it? Like black and red. Black and red, okay. So you guys lift her out of the truck. Mm -hmm. And you got which part of her again? Her feet. And what is Steve carrying? Her head and her shoulders. And you put her on the creeper? Yeah. Does she have shoes on? No. Does she have, did you take her clothes off then? Mm -mm. Was she tied up? Yeah. Describe that again, how she was tied up. And, and again, make it easy on yourself and just tell us the truth the first time. The hard part's over. That it was like wrapped around her like three, four times. Wrapped around where? Show us where, on your body. Right here. Okay. What about her feet? Yeah. Yeah, what? They were tied up. What were they tied up with? Rope. What kind of rope? Like, oh, like that round. Something thing. you'd use for clothesline, that yeah. type of thing? What color was it? Like, white and blue. Okay. What about her hands? I don't remember. Where did you see injuries on her? Her stomach. Her stomach, what did it look like? Like she was stabbed. Well, I don't necessarily, I'm going to tell you I don't know what it looks like when someone's stabbed, okay? you got to talk to someone that doesn't realize this. Tell us what you saw. Like it was all bleeding in that. Show me where and I knew that would be. Like right here. How much blood? Was that, show me on you the extent of the stain or the blood that you saw. Like, right there. That whole area, was it pretty wet yet or dry? Like damp. Damp. Could you see flesh or just the shirt? A little bit of flesh. How many times did he say he stabbed her? 
once. What else did he do to her? We already know, to be honest. We've got enough of her to know some things that happened to her. So tell us the truth. What else did he do to her? Right there. Did he tell you that? Tell us about that. And where he did it. I don't know where he did it, but... Okay. What did he say he did in his words? What did he tell you? You can, you can swear, you can use any language you want. Tell us exactly what he told you he did to her. That he ripped off her clothes and she refused and she tried to get away, but he went, he was too strong for her. And he did it. He did what? Raped her. What did he say? Did he use those words? Are you sure? Because he's just not using the words he uses. Are you, if you're sure, that's okay. Yeah. And where did that happen? I don't know. Okay. And she tried to get away, but he was too strong. Yeah. And then what did he do to her? Well, after he was done, that's when he put her back in the Jeep in the back. Was she dead then yet or not? Brandon, were you there when this happened? No. Okay. Was she dead there then or not? Yeah. How do you know that? I have a feeling I know how you know that. We already know, Brandon. We already know. Come on, be honest with us. Be honest with us. We already know it's okay. We're going to help you through this, all right? Tell us. How do you know that? I was outside riding my bike. Mm -hmm. I could hear it. What could you hear? Screaming. Okay. Was the door closed at that time? Mm-hmm. Did he know you were out there? No. What was the screaming like? What was she saying? Like, help me. Did you know what was going on? No. What did you do? Well, I was going up to the the driveway and get the mail. What time was that? About 4, 4.30. Is it light out? Yeah. Okay. So you go out on your bike and you hear screaming coming from where? His house. Whose house? Stevens. The house or the garage? The house. From the house. All right. Then what do you do? I just went to go get the mail and went in the house. So you go get the mail and you go in the house and then what? Sat down and watched TV. Okay, okay Brandon, you're doing a good job. Let's go back to when you go outside and get your bike. And you're going to go get the mail. You said you heard screaming. Any more? Tell us more about what you heard. You said, help me. Was it female screaming? Yeah. What else did you hear her say, if anything? That's all I heard. And is her vehicle still there? Yeah. Where is the vehicle that time? By the big trees. Okay. Did that scare you when you heard that screaming? Sort of. Did you go over to his house then? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Yeah. And you said you rode your bike down to get the mail. You yeah. came back, and then what'd you do? Honestly. You went over to his house? No. What'd you do? I went to our garage and put the bike away. Mm -hmm. And Brian was in there working on his car. 
Yeah. And, uh, he asked her if she wants any help, and he said no. That if he wanted help, he would come in and get me or something. So I went in the house and I sat down. Did Brian hear the screaming too? No, he had the radio going. Okay. Did you tell Brian? No. Okay, you went in the house and sat down. And then? I waited and then I watched TV for a little bit. And my mom came home. And she comes home at about what time? About 4.35. Okay. And then what happens? She asked me if anybody got the mail. I'm like, yeah, I did. And watched TV more. And he came over and asked if she wanted help. He came over and asked you what? If I could help him move something. Okay. Okay, let's, to this point now, I think we're pretty close to the truth. How close are we, Brendan? Pretty close. Okay, then give us the little parts that we don't have yet up to that point. Steven, there's something in there we're missing. You heard her. I have a feeling he saw you, you saw him. Something in here that we're missing. Because, you know, we're not idiots. I don't see him coming over to the house and asking you to help unless he knows you know something. So tell us what you knew, that he knew. It's okay, Brad. We already know. I think he went over to his house. Maybe you asked him to get his mail. Something in here is missing. Well, when I got the mail, it was like a envelope in there with his name on it. All right. Okay, now we're going. But what did you do? I knocked on the door and he answered it. Yeah, and then what? I gave it to him and then I left. Come on now. You just heard screaming over there. You're That's making this hard on us and yourself. Be honest. You went inside, didn't you? Yeah. You went in the trailer? Mm-hmm. You're not. Okay. Did he invite you in? Yeah. Okay. And where was she? In his room. Okay. Did you go back there and look? No. Brandon, be honest. I didn't. How do you know she was in his room? The door was open. Could you see her? Yeah. Was she alive? Well, she was handcuffed to the thing. She was handcuffed to what? The bed. Was she naked? Was she alive? Yeah. How do you know? Because she was moving around. Was she making any noise? It's all right, bud. Yeah. What was she saying? Screaming for help. What was handcuffed? Her hands or her legs or both? Both. And what were they handcuffed to? Like the hand, like there's round poles on okay. each side. Okay. On his bed. And you, you're, you're, you're getting there, okay? Let's back up again. Did you go get the mail? Yeah. When you went to get the mail with your bike, did you hear something at that time, or did it happen when you came back with the mail? You can do it. Just tell us the truth. And I came back. I gotta believe this is in your in your mind right now, like a picture. There's a video in your mind, this whole thing, and you're trying to get it out. And the only way you can get it out is by talking about it right now. So you came back. Did you have a letter for Stephen? Yeah. Did you go to his trailer? Yeah. Did you hear screaming coming from inside the trailer? Yeah. 
what did you do then? You're at the, are you at the door? Where are you? When you first hear the screaming, where are you? Like by the other camper that we passed. Way down there? Mm-hmm. You hear screaming ha halfway or a quarter way down that frontage road, your driveway road? Yeah. Do you, are you able to make out any of the words? No. Okay. Take me from there and be honest so we don't have to keep backing up here because we, we know, but we need it in your words. I can't, I can't say it. I did I already know. You know we know. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's get this out, okay? You're coming back with the mail. Take us through it. It's the video in your head. Play it for us. You come back with the mail. What happens? Well, I stopped and I seen if there was any mail for me, so I seen Stevens. So I went over there right away to bring it over by him. And I knocked like three times and then he finally came. Are you hearing anything coming from the other side of the trailer at this time? Yeah. What? The words help me. Okay. That's got to be pretty devastating, right? But you still knock. Mm-hmm. To an end of the trailer then? You knock and he comes to the door. What's he look like? Is he dressed? Has he got anything on him? What, what's he look like? He's got a white shirt on with red shorts and all sweaty. He's all sweaty. Any blood at this time? No. All right. Does he let you in the trailer? He lets me in the kitchen. He what? He walks me into the kitchen. What does he say to you? If I want a soda. Does he know you've heard anything? Is she still saying stuff? Yeah. Then he walks you into the kitchen. Okay, play the video for us, bud. Tell us what's happening. It's okay. Tell us what happened. What does he say to you? said he never got some of that stuff, so he wanted to get some. Never got what? A girl. Okay, what did you say just a second ago, though? Repeat what you said. That he wanted to get some. Some what? Pussy. And that's what he said to you? Okay. Now I can start believing you. Okay. So do you have a soda? Mm-hmm. And then what happens next? I open it and drink some. What's he saying to you? It's all right. You are doing the right thing. Come on, what's he saying? That he wants to keep on doing it. Doing what? Raping her. What kind of words is he using, though? You can say those words here. That you wanted to fuck her so hard. Could you see her at this time? No. Okay. What happens next? Remember, we already know, but we need to hear it from you. It's okay. It's not your fault. What happens next? Does he ask you? He does, doesn't he? We know. He asks you, doesn't he? What does he ask you? If I wanted a girlfriend. Tell us how he said it. That if, if he wanted me to have to get some pussy. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens next? 
they said that if I wanted to, I can go get some, but not right now. Oh, come on, be honest. You went back into that room. Don't let us down, Brendan. We know you were back there. Let's get it all out today. This will be all over with. Yes, if you want some, right? That's what you told us. Mm -hmm. If you want some pussy, where do you tell them? I said I wasn't aged, and so he took me back there and showed me some. What did he show you? Her naked body. Okay. Is she alive? Yeah. Is she talking? Yeah. What did she say? What did she say? I know it's hard, but you got to tell us. What did she say? The video will never go away unless you can talk to us about it. Go ahead. What did she say? She's asking Stephen why you would do something like that. Does she say anything to you? She see, does she see you? Yeah. Does she say something to you? No. Describe again. Were you accurate when you described how she was on the bed? How is she attached to that? Where is she? Tell us that and be truthful again. That she's chained up to the bed and she's faced up. Face up, no clothes on? Mm -mm. What do you mean she's chained up to explain that? Like some handcuffs. Where are the handcuffs? On her arms or on her legs or where? Both. Okay. Do you remember the color of the handcuffs and the leg irons? Like regular ones. Which would be what color? Silver. Okay. Are her legs spread apart? Or are they together? Or tell us how it looks. Like spread apart a little bit. So you, she, he brings you back there and he shows you her. And what do you do? Honestly, because we it's think very important. We know what happened. Be truthful. We know what happened. It's okay. What did you do? I didn't do nothing. Brendan? Look, Brendan? Come on. What did you do? What does Stephen make you do? He told me to do What does that mean to you? To score. Did you do that? All right, take a breath, Brad. Take it all. Did he watch? It's okay. Look okay. good. Okay, where is Steve at this time? Oh. Why? Where's her clothes at this time? So, how'd they get out? Clean up that, the bank 50. We clean that up and then player. Throw what on the fire? Cleaned up. What did the clothes? Mm. Okay, let's go to have her bra and panties too. So you took it outside and threw it on the fire? Yeah. Oh, and it, it, was that not true then? In the garage now. What kind of cleaning? What do you do? Gas on it so he could get it off. Then he tried painting it and then he drained it like. And it probably got on the floor and it splashed up on my pants or something. How much? Where the Jeep's tire was. So if you had to say some dimensions, like two by two, two feet by two. Cleaned in the garage or just one? Two. If we took you to that garage, would you be able to show us where? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get the bleach from? In his house, but in his bathroom. Were you there when his girlfriend called, Joey? No. Was Stephen bleeding? On his fingers, that's it. Did Stephen...
that he was gonna crush it. Sooner he said the sooner the better. You like what? What kind? Coke. Coke? Okay. Before we get that, has Evan told you that someone else knows? Not that I know of. What about Chuck? Okay. Take a little break. Yeah, take a breath. <clears throat> Some food up here, sandwich or anything you want? Bathroom? Nothing? Just a. Sandwich. 